Hi everybody, it's Christina from Spectrum Noir. Spectrum Noir have brought out lots of CDs that will help you to develop your own colouring style. And from these CDs, there's lots of images that you can print off. Now this set of jeans is from one of the CDs and I'm going to colour this with the blues and I'm going to use the brush nibs. So the colours that I'm using are TB1, TB3 and TB4. So if you look at the image you've got several um, artist impressions of where the folds would be in the jeans. So and using the lightest colour and the brush nib I'm just going to map out where I want my shading on this. So this is just the start of where we're going to put things. So I'm going to start with this first crease here and I'm just going to flick out some colour where the jeans would be gathered. And then coming down to the next crease I'm going to flick it out along there and the next crease. So I'm working underneath the crease line and I'm just flicking out some colour and this is just going to show me where I want to add my shading. So I'm going to go all the way down the jeans and I'm going to turn it round. Now coming down to the bottom of the jeans I'm going to flick upwards because the material would be lying over the foot. And I'm coming round to this side and I'm going to do the same. I'm only using light flakes, I'm not putting a lot of ink down onto the paper. And the card that I'm using is a Nina Classic Crest. So I'm adding in all the side shadows and where the fabric would fold. And this is where the fabric would drape down from the hip. So there we've got the first layer of where I want to map things out and I'm only going to work on one leg. Now I'm going to the darkest shade and I'm going to use the brush nib again and I'm going to reinforce those shadows. So I'm going to start and flick out the colour but I'm not going as far into the blue this time. So I'm going to turn it round. And I'm still going in the direction that the folds in the fabric would be. Now where you've got bumps in the fabric is usually where there would be a fold. So I'm going to turn it round and come and work on this side. So again, just flicking the colour out. You tend not to put as much ink down when you flick the nibs. Now once I've done that, I've got a general idea of where I want my shadows and then I can start to blend that colour out so I'll just go up to the hip area and this it would be darker inside the waistband so we'll just put that bit of shadowing in there Now once I've got that mapped out, I can go to uh, my middle colour, which is TB3, and again with the brush nib, I'm just going to extend those shadows 
further into the jean. So I'm not going over the darkest colour that I've put down. I'm just working from it, from the edge of it. And I'm going to do this to all of the, the shadows so that I'm working on both sides of what would be the fold in the material. But I'm still leaving lots of white areas. Now once I've mapped that out I'm coming back to the lightest colour and I'm just going to continue flicking but I'm going to fill in all those white areas. And again the flicking motion doesn't put down quite as much ink as it would if you were to just keep the nib on the paper. Now I'm sure you can hear the rain and it's quite heavy here and it's just beating down onto the, the windows in my craft room. Now once you've blended those colours in you may have lost a little bit of your shadow so you can always go back in with your darker colour just to reinforce the shadows again. So you're just going to blend it out like you did before and that will get rid of any blotchiness in your colouring. So starting with TB1, I've done one leg, I'm now going to do the exact same process on the other one. TB1 is going to map out my, my jeans. So there we have an image from the Spectrum RCD. It's all coloured and creased and folded. And if you wish, you can add that to your cards. But if you want to stay with me, keep that safe because in the next tutorial, we're going to enhance this image using the pencils.